Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop and in this video I want to teach you how to make a simple privacy policy for your WordPress website. You see, with the new GDPR rules that went into effect May 25th, 2018, they are requiring all websites to have a privacy policy. So in this video, I want to easily show you how you can do that. Well, if you go inside, if you're logged into WordPress and you go inside to your dashboard, you will see under settings, there is a new area called privacy. And this is where you can tell WordPress where your privacy policy is. So you can either select a page that you had already created and click use this page, or to make it easy, if you don't have a privacy policy, click on this create new page. And what WordPress does is it creates a page for you, it puts in a boilerplate template for you, and then also there is a guide here, so you can just open this in a new tab, and this guide will help you. So you can look through this guide and read about the suggested text, and then come over in here and make any modifications. So WordPress has done this for you. My understanding is that the template they put together is GDPR compliant, but since I am not a GDPR expert, you will need to consult with a lawyer if you so choose to, or other authorities who are experts in GDPR. I'm just letting you know what is here that WordPress has created. So I would read this guide in one tab or menu window of your browser, and then over here, come in and make edits. So assuming I've made all the edits that I wanna make, I would go ahead and click Publish and then view my page. So now I have my privacy policy page. You can see the URL at the top and then what you can do on your site is go to the footer and add your privacy policy, terms of service, disclaimers, any other things you want to add. So in this video, I'm not going to show how to add that to your footer because it's different on every WordPress theme or website. So I hope this has been helpful showing you how to make a simple privacy policy for your website inside the settings privacy area and once you've set it WordPress will remember it so you can always come to settings privacy and click to edit or view your privacy policy content. It makes it really easy and handy for you to put this together and it is always notice it will always show you where this guide is and it's always easier to use the guide and just modify what WordPress has created for you rather than to create it yourself. Again, I'm not a GDPR lawyer or expert. I'm just letting you know what WordPress has put together. This is Christina Hills from the website Creation Workshop.